Hello, my name is Tom. In today's video, I am going to use my laptop computer to establish a communications link to my DirectLogix 205 PLC so that I can upload, download, and monitor my PLC programs. I'm going to get started and scroll down here to my material list on my step-by-step -step guide. And these are the materials I'll be using today. If you follow the hyperlinks that I have here, it will take you directly to the web page on the Automation Direct website where the item is located. I'm going to continue scrolling here and show you the project description. This video will also work with the DL05, the DL06, and the DL105 along with the DL205 PLCs made by Automation Direct. And if I scroll down here a little bit further, I will have a wiring schematic for the programming cable that I'm using today. And I come down here, I have a step-by-step -step guide of the procedure we'll be following today in this video to establish the communications link. And in step one, I will be opening up the DS launch. In step two, I will be opening up a project. Now I'm going to scroll through these kind of quick because we'll be performing this anyways. And in step three, I'll be opening up the communications link, which will open up the wizard. And I will be selecting a COM port here. And in step five, I will be selecting the family of the PLCs that I'll be using, which will be the 205 PLC. And in step six, I'll be selecting the protocol. And as I scroll down further, I will be establishing the communications link and giving it a, at a name and then I will be selecting it and going online with it and then it will be asking me if I want to use the PLC or the disk because it, the online and offline version will be different and here I will be comparing the what's on the online versus what's on the computer so that's the end of my step-by-step -step guide here and let me come back all the way up to the top again here and come over here to the DS launch now what I want to do here is I want to get started and open up a DirectSoft 5 programming I would click here but I can also establish a communications link where it says com links down here by clicking here highlighting it and right clicking and adding a link and that will bring up the link wizard also But I want to open up a project here, so I'm going to open up a new project, and I'm going to be using the 205 base with a 260 processor, so under type I'm going to click on DL260 and click OK, and I'm going to expand this out. Now the first thing I want to do to establish a communications link, I want to come up here to PLC and click on connect here and that opens up this window here which is the select the link window right here and right now I only have a Ethernet connection so I'm going to need to open up another connection here and I'm going to add one right here so I'm going to click on add and it opens up the link wizard now from here I can do this through the link wizard or I can use the link editor here but for right now I'm going to use the link wizard and this window here asks me which COM port do I have my programming cable plugged into so if I need to find which port that I'm plugged into I can come down here to the start button go to control panel and click on hardware and sound and look for device manager click on that that opens up my device manager window here and if I come down here to ports and click I have my programming cable plugged into COM1 so I'm going to X out of all these and come back to my DS launch and link wizard so since I'm using the COM1 link I want to ensure that I have the COM1 port highlighted here then I want to click next and here it's asking me what family of PLC am I using 
Now I could either select the 305, the 305S, or the DL05, 105, 205, 205, and 405, and 350 family. But I'm going to leave it as not sure, and then click Next. And here it's asking me for which protocol I want to use, and I want to use DirectNet for this. And also the address is 1. Click Next. And here it scrolled through, it found the link for me. It done it all automatically after I made a few selections. Now I would need to give it a name and I would call it 260 and then click finish. But what I want to do is I want to go through the link editor this time and show you how that's done. Click on link editor here in the bottom corner and that brings up this configure link window here. Now I need to give it a unique name, something that's not already taken on the link wizard. So I'm going to, right now I'm going to call it 260. Now I need to select a PLC family here, which is the DirectLogix 205 series. And the PLC type is going to be a 260 processor. And then under port here, I'm going to click on this tab. And it's going to ask me which port do I have my programming cable plugged into, which is COM1. And I'm going to leave these baud rates as 9600 because the 205 supports only 9600 baud rate and it's going to be an odd parity. So I'll leave all this here and also the protocol I'll leave as direct net and the address of one and the advanced settings here I don't need to do anything with them or the data encoding here. So I'm going to click accept and that brings me up the link right here. Now if the link wasn't found through the link editor you would have had an error message on it but I'm going to select that right now and show you that it works and I'm connecting to the PLC and I am comparing the online and the offline differences now here I can either use the PLC which whatever programs in the PLC will be written to these rungs here or I can use the disk and if I use the disk, there will, as you can see, there is no programming here right now. And I will need to download that to the PLC if I am intending on making any changes. I can also click on the details button here and see what the differences are between the online and offline versions. So I'll do that. And I can see that on the PLC I have a CTRIO card here plugged in, which is probably either a for use for counting or motion control. And on the disk, I don't have any program on there. So I'm going to close that back out and I'm going to use the PLC. And as you can see, the program in the PLC is now on my desktop, but there is no descriptions, no descriptions of the bits or the rungs. So you have to contend with that. So now I've shown you how to establish the communications link through the link wizard and also through the link editor. And I brought up the program and here you can monitor the program. And the blue bits here shows you that there is power flow. And that's about it for this video. And if you like it, let me know. If it helps out, that'd be great. So, my, till my next video, that's it.